So I'm going to make now a couscous salad that's going to fit in with the Eat Well Guide. In the salad um, with the couscous, it's going to be my um, starchy carbohydrates. I'm going to add some vegetables, which are going to um, add um, some vitamins and minerals. And I'm going to add some protein with some beans as um, a vegetarian alternative. And I'm also going to add some fats in it when I'm adding um, my vinaigrette. And as you can see, that fits well. This dish would do well as um, an all-in-one dish with all the nutrients that you need for a healthy um, meal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to the couscous so it can um, reconstitute, which means it will go from a, a dried state to a um, more soft state. So I've just boiled the kettle. Be careful using the kettle. Make sure you have an adult around when you're using the kettle. And I'm going to put into here, um, I'm going to use 175 millilitres and I'm going to add a stock cube into, it, into that. Once the stock cube has dissolved, you can add that into the couscous and I'm going to use a vegetarian um, stock cube in in my water and once the stock cube has dissolved I'm going to add that to the couscous leave that to one side and those flavors from the stock cube will go into the couscous and add a little bit more flavor into it while that is um, just reconstituting, um, I will prepare the rest of my vegetables. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use half an onion or you could use a spring onion if you wished. So just with the onion, just revisiting some of those um, skills that I've shown you before. So you're going to remember to peel back the skin, cut it in half, leaving the root on. You're going to take back that those layer of the skin so you've got no skin on it and then what you're going to do is you're going to use your knife holding it safely with the blade pointing down you're going to cut off the other end the other half leaving the root on so you've cut through the onion in a half but you've left the root on then what you're going to do as revised from before you're going to use first of all your bridge method and you're going to use the tip of the blade and cut down and along. So using your bridge method to hold your onion in place and you're going to cut along the onion like that. And then when you open it all up, it holds together. It doesn't fall apart because you've still left the root on. Then what you can do is you can turn around and you use your claw method. So remember, claw method, do it like a lion's claw fingers together hold on there push forward and then what you're going to do is you're going to then cut along and remember you can slice down but you're not going to slice your fingers off because they're all tucked well behind and my thumb is really tucked behind there and not sticking out and I'm just going to cut along until I feel safe I'm just going to discard the rest until I get more confident at um, my cutting techniques I'm just going to leave that in the bowl there for a minute then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, pepper and I'm going to take that pepper and I'm just going to use my bridge method there and I'm, I'm sorry my claw method there and I'm just going to hold that so it's steady and I'm just going to cut along like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those batons that I've made and I'm just going to slice across to make smaller pieces, making sure my fingers are always out of the way and I don't cut myself. I'm then going to take a cucumber. I'm going to use my bridge method and I'm going to cut that cucumber in half. So I've got two halves. That will leave a sturdy um, 
area for me to then cut. I'm then going to cut across with my knife. I'm going to then place those down so they're flat and I'm going to cut along slicing and then put those together and then I can cut across the batons to make smaller cuts of cucumber and I'm going to quickly do that with the with the other half so again slicing downwards lie those pieces flat so they're always flat all, all the time so you're cutting safely cut those in half and put them together if there's too many there just do a few at a time always think about safety and what feels safe and using my bridge method um, my claw method to just make sure my fingers are kept well out of the way and you don't have any accidents okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take a tomato i'm going to cut that in half and then on the flat again cut it in half and then i'm going to just cut through that quarter and turn it round and just cut down like that so get your quarter cut that in half and just cut along like that so you're always working on the flat so you don't have any accidents. So cut it into a quarter, cut that down in half, using your claw to just make sure that you are holding your, making sure your fingers are held out of the way and you're securing your food and you're cutting it. So I've prepared my vegetables there, so they're all prepared. Now what I can do is I can add that to the couscous. So the couscous should be light and fluffy now. And all the moisture has been soaked up. And because I put a stock cube in there, that has added some extra flavour. You can use any stock, flavor, stock cube you like. I like to use vegetarian and then everybody can eat it um, if you're sharing it. I'm going to place all my vegetables into the couscous salad. I'm going to add my onions. You can use spring onions if you prefer spring onions. I'm going to give that a little bit of a stir. And then lastly, I'm just going to add some parsley. Now you might want to use fresh parsley, um, but because of the season, it's not really season for fresh parsley. So I'm just using some um, dried parsley today. You can use some salt and pepper to add extra flavour, but be careful adding any more salt because you've used a stock cube, you might not need any more salt. So leave that to the end, taste it, and then add your seasoning. Then um, you're going to use a vinaigrette. Now I've just got a low calorie uh, French dressing here, which is a mixture of vinegar and some um, mustard. And you just give it, and oil, and you just give that a shake, and then, you add that into there. Ooh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot my beans. Don't forget to add your source of protein in there. So I'm going to add some mixed beans in there. Give that a stir. And if I ate that, I would be eating a well balanced dish. And you can see there that's quite colourful um, and you can also, even though it's not on the Eat Well Guide, you could add a little bit of sweetness just by adding some dried apricots or some raisins. So I'm going to add a little bit of sweetness into there. Again, adding some more colour, some more texture and there's my finished salad ready for eating. And you can put that in the fridge and you can um, eat that. Um, over a couple of days. Thank you.